Okay, welcome back. Before we get started, hit that like button and subscribe. All right, welcome back on this Sunday afternoon. Um, I got a couple of news articles I want to get into. But first, guys, if you can, try to learn, if you haven't done so, try to learn CPR, man. Learn how to um, perform uh, CPR, man. Learn how to use a tourniquet. Um, also, um, they do have uh, AED CPR class combined where you can uh, learn both. Try to learn um, CPR, man. Especially if you're out there off grid. Learn how to use a tourniquet, man. You may be out there or one of your friends out there, man. Uh, um, cutting some lumber up, man, or whatever, and they not wearing the proper protection, you may have to use a tourniquet, man. So learn how to perform basic CPR and learn how to use a tourniquet. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so my first news article is out of CBS News. It says, I'm just waiting to die. Social Security claws back drives some into homelessness. It says more than a year after the federal, federal government first cut off her disability benefits, Denise Woods drives nightly to, to strip malls, truck shops, and parking lots around Savannah, Georgia, looking for a safe place to sleep in her Chevy. Woods 51 said she had rented a three-bedroom house she shared with her with her adult son and grandson until March of 2022 when the government terminated her disability payments without notice. According to letters sent by the Social Security Administration, the agency determined it had been overpaying Woods and demanded she pay back nearly $58,000. Woods couldn't come up with the money, so until February of 2026, the agency is withholding the $2,048 in disability she would have received each month. So, I'll leave the link on where you can um, read this article, but um, as I went through this entire article, read, read the article, um, it seems like she was uh, receiving notices about the overpayment. Um, guys, if you're out there and you're receiving Social Security benefits and you see an increase on your, you see an increase, man, contact your local uh, office, man, just to verify things, man. Unless you have documentation stating that, hey, this is why we are increasing your benefits, Call in just to verify. You do not want to get yourself in debt, man. Seriously, and they cut you off. In this case, they do have options, you know, where you can make a, get on a payment plan, man. Tell them you, you, you're experiencing hardship if they cut your benefits off, especially if this is your only source of income. So if you're out there, man, and, and you see... And increasing your benefits and you do not receive a letter stating why, man, just give them a call. All right. Next news article. This is out of New York Times. It says California allows wastewater to, to be recycled into drinking water. Californians on, on Tuesday excuse me, California officials on Tuesday voted to allow wastewater from showers and toilets to be purified into drinking water as the state braces for years of drought-induced shortages. It says the rules adopted by the State Water Resource Control Board made California the second state behind Colorado to allow agencies to harness a water source that residents have largely been flushing away for generations. So, hey man, a lot of things are changing, man. A lot of things are changing, man. 
So California has decided to recycle their water, man, their wastewater. So you better get your filters out, man. You better get your filters out, get your bottled water. Matter of fact, just go ahead and start to make um, plans, man, to, to try to relocate, man. California got a lot of issues, just like a lot of these states, man. Seriously, they got some serious issues in California. And that's just my opinion, man. Seriously, they got some serious issues over there. But yeah, man, it's a lot of things taking place around the U.S., man. <sighs> so many things, man. We have homeless uh, uh, migrants, man, knocking on doors in New York. Um, so while they're knocking on doors in New York, man, you, you're having uh, uh, issues with Chick-fil-A. Trying to make a, a law to have Chick-fil-A operate on Sundays. You, you see how everything is just screwed up, man? You want Chick-fil-A to open up on Sundays. It, it, it just, it's like everything is focused on the wrong thing, man. You have people, uh, uh, legal Immigrants knocking on people's doors, begging for money and food with their entire family, man. But yet still, you want to try to pass some kind of law to have Chick-fil-A open up on Sundays. Well, I guess they're going to feed the migrants. That's what you want them to do? Who knows, man? Society is changing, man. Everything is off course. Everything is off course, man. Focusing on the wrong, uh, um, just focusing on the wrong things, man. So if you're out there, um, make sure you do what you got to do to make sure your family have your emergency supplies, man. Make sure you have backup power in the event of a power outage. Because there are a lot of people around here, man. Things are going to get tight for a lot of people. You already have the, um, these migrants knocking on doors. You never know. They could be knocking on your door next. So continue to prep. Do what you got to do. Get yourself in a CPR class. Learn how to perform CPR. That is something, something. That's simple, you know, doesn't cost that much. Learn how to use tourniquet and do what you got to do. Keep on prepping. I'm out. Hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.